I've waited for this day for a very long time, and I used to think that it would never come. The original Red Dead Redemption is finally on PC, but is it any good? Let's see what Rockstar and 0011 have done for us. My name's John Marston. I'm not sure what the budget was to make sure that this was more than a worthwhile effort, but from where I'm sitting, they've more than accomplished any goal set. First we have the menu options for the game, and to me, it's honestly better than expected, being 14 years old. We have things like shadow softness, shadow blend, shadow quality. There's dynamic resolution scaling with target frame rate and DRS render scale. Then they've also included things like terrain level of detail, tree level of detail, tree draw distance, and overall grass detail. They did advertise things like DLSS, so of course there's a quality mode, a balanced mode, and performance modes. I am still on my older 10700K. I have a 4070 Super, 32 gigs of RAM, and an all SSD setup. I chose to play the game at 4K with DLAA turned on, and I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm staying well above 100 FPS a lot of the time and getting drops to the mid 80s and low 90 FPS range in the worst of situations. I think one of the biggest game changers is actually the fact that they implemented HDR into the experience. There are HDR calibration sliders to adjust things just the way you'd prefer them as well. And for anyone wondering, I also tried out the DualSense PS5 controller and that turned out to be a little bit of a bummer. You don't get full native support with the DualSense and there's no PlayStation button prompts. But if you still prefer to play with your PlayStation controller connected, it will act as an Xbox controller with the Xbox button prompts. Now, I didn't just want to play this for like 30, 45 minutes and call it good. You guys deserve better than that, and I wanted to test it in some slightly more intense situations. Those uh, early Bonnie McFarlane missions don't exactly set the performance world on fire, among other things. A lot of questions are running through your head right now, and I'm sure one of the biggest questions is, okay, I see all of that sounds good, but is it worth it? Let me say this and try to put it into words that don't make me seem too biased because I, I do really love this game. When you consider the age of the game, the amount of options they've given us to tweak, and the performance you're going to get, something should be said for that. Does it run well? Did they do a really good job? Is it a stuttery mess with all kinds of issues? I feel like I've spent enough time with it now to say yes, yes, and no in that exact order to all of those questions. It's not perfect, I don't think anyone should expect it to be, but considering the mess of ports and PC versions of so many games the PC community has received in recent memory, this should be considered a really excellent effort. I can't say in good faith that they went above and beyond expectations, but I'd at least say 0011 went above expectations. Me myself, like I'm sure a lot of you, I'm just glad that this is finally available on PC. I'm very interested to see what sort of things the modding community comes up with to improve performance and stability even further. But more importantly, things that same community may do to improve the gameplay experience in some ways. Not that it needs much in the way of improvement. I've said it a thousand times before, but in some ways the original game still plays better than the second game, and that's not a knock on either game. You're talking about two games that are nearly a decade apart with different development priorities, and that stuff has to be taken into consideration. I can't sit here and tell you guys that there's a whole lot of bad to Red Dead Redemption on PC. The textures haven't improved much, if at all, so they still look muddy in some areas of the game. Though, I have seen some gamers try to claim that they can't put their finger on it, but some textures and lighting seem improved. And the only thing that we can say to stuff like that is, I'm not saying it's not true, but Digital Foundry will surely cover this release and they can take it from there. I will say that stuff like icons, the map, menus, they seem cleaner and higher def than the PS4 version playable on PS5. A couple of other little minor things to note here. There was some sort of hitching while playing cards and I can't say whether or not that's tied to performance being much higher than intended for those sections or something else entirely. The hitching, it seemed like it was making John sort of rock back and forth ever so slightly. Again, I'm not really sure, you know, it may be something tied to the frame rate as we are dealing with a game that was once hard-coded 720p 30 FPS. If a guy can get lucky enough and 0011 happens to view this video at some point, maybe it's something they can take a look at. 
The only other hiccup was quite unexpected in my time with the game. I was riding back into Armadillo after completing a mission and I was, I don't know if thrown from my horse is the right way to put it, but it was random, it happened for no reason, and my horse died because of it. It just, strange, super strange. I only experienced that one time, and you know, I can't say I ever experienced anything like that on Xbox 360, PS3, playing on PS5, or even that older Xbox version playable at 4K on the Xbox One X. It hasn't happened since, and I'm grateful for that, but given that I'm not a game developer, I have no idea what may have caused that. All in all, 99% of what I've seen says to me, and only me, that this was $50 well spent. You also get the Undead Nightmare expansion included, for those wondering. $50 may be a steep asking price for some, and I totally understand. But with much better image quality than ever before, higher performance, and something like HDR, it goes a long way for this gamer. I mean, listen, you can always try it for an hour or two and refund the money on Steam if you're not satisfied. But I think most of you will be quite pleased and you will enjoy this experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I will leave you guys with some gameplay and try to throw some uh, performance numbers up in there as well. You guys take care. Have a good one. Peace.
Excuse me, miss? Er... Rose? Crash, take those damn weapons! Oh! 